Hey folks, painting day up here on the satellite. Love time to spruce up the galley, the companionway, and the can, and the can too. Yes, I thought I'd. Uh, can use... really needs it, man. Wow. Let me tell okay, you. I thought I'd uh, try a little experiment based on the theory that the color of the room can affect the mood of said room's occupants. For instance, hmm. this color of green is used in prisons because it's said to calm the inmates down. How does this make you guys feel? Well, I feel calm, placid, sort of a Jimmy Carter-like serenity. I find I have the inexplicable desire to date Lisa Stansfield. That figures. How about this? This orange is bright, cheery, said to increase appetite. Huh. This may sound odd, but I feel bitter and ignored, you callous snobs. It increases my desire to date Lisa Stansfield, but in particular, I want to take her to see competitive curling. I don't know why I even bother, but let's try one more. How about this one? This is a morose blackish crimson, mm. the color of dried blood. Oh, no. The exact color of the last room in Poe's mask of the Red Death. One look at it is said to drive its occupants mad. <laughs> mad, I tell you, mad. <laughs> How does it make you feel, hmm? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sticking with the Stansfield bit. Yeah, I think it'd be perfect for the can. Yeah. No, in there I'm gonna use this eggshell color. Oh, 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 oh it's horrible! Help. Get yes, it away, Mike! Get it away. <laughs> Good, that'll keep him out of my biffy. We'll be right back. Ah, horrible! Devils! Death! And how does this color make you feel? Hmm. It makes me want to invest everything I have in steam-powered weaving machines. Me too. Man, that's eerie how colors can influence you. Wow, <laughs> weird. Oh, uh, Pearl's pestering us. Yes? It is. Bloodless Bob to Monkey One. Bloodless Bob to Monkey One. The lemmings are in position. Drop your payload. Oh, hello, Mike. I'm going to start today's experiment with a little poll. How do you feel about tactical misdirections? Where huh? your hand no. go? Uh, Tactical mis- uh, hmm. Well, I guess, you know, if it's done for the right reasons, I can certainly see using tactical oh. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you use tactical misdirection so that we wouldn't notice you're secretly spraying poison on us. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're implying, Nelson, but I don't like where it's headed. What I'm implying is that you spray poison on us. Oh. Hey! You did it again, admit it! I have a statement. <clears throat> In response to various reports to the contrary, at no time did I or my associates, me personally or myself, spray any kind of contaminants, nerve function inhibitors, or thin bouillons on the inhabitants of the satellite of love. Okay, monkey one, this is bloodless Bob. Hit him hard with everything you've got. Oh, yeah. hey, so I did. But what you have to understand is things were different back then. Once you frame it in the proper context, I think you'll... That was 30 seconds ago. Yeah, now I've got several more sets of arms. I don't even know which ones are mine. Well, they're all mine, I guess. <laughs> and hey, take a look at these hands. Wow. Look, might as well call me Bob Huge Hands. And, and I've got a servo growing out of my back. Ooh. Now I'll have to sleep on my stomach. Yeah. Hey. hey! Now you did it again. <laughs> Boy. Fine, fine. I'll drop a load of very expensive, highly experimental antidotes. But you owe me, Nelson. I'm also sending you a really stupid bat movie called It Lives by Night. <laughs> Monkey one, give the babies their bottle over. Well, I should dry up and fall right off you, Mike. Yeah, sure, no problem. Hey, put her there, pal. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we have, have fun. Put her there. Someone three houses down runs a vacuum cleaner at night. 
Wow, we're gonna need spotters in order to watch this movie. The left eye of Laura Mark. <laughs> Stella Luna. I hate these new aluminum bats, by the way. Let me go! Help! This guy's nuts! Yeah, what are we seeing? Yeah. Okay, let's go, pal. A human! He'll entangle my feet with his hair! Dick, there are sheets involved. Uh, uh, yeah, I hate it when you get bats in your pajamas. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Vikings, why? Alanis Morissette, no wonder he's having a nightmare. Uh, uh, Johnny. Honey, you gotta uh, cut your toenails. Johnny. You can go home now. Yelling in your sleep. The same dream? Yeah, only Raymond Burr was in it this time. Try to go back to sleep. I'll change the bedding. Uh, now I'm dreaming of credits. Take me away. Great, it's Julie Cruz in concert. Batman has really let his place go. Well, it shouldn't drink so much coffee. Now the credits are gently hang gliding away. Oh. It lives by night. It pulls a lobster shift down at the Ford plant. <laughs> In fact, the Lou Shaw film. Stewart enjoys living on the north side of many large trees. Yeah, the car's on fire. I told you we shouldn't do kebabs on the manifold. Music for the heavily sedated. Oh, now Bonnie's not fooling anyone. It's Bonnie Van Lesbian. Picking up hitchhikers goes horribly wrong. Oh, I wish this car had an eject button. <laughs> and ur David Bernie. Guy's got a job delivering spooky folk singers. Stop it. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Here comes your ghost again. Someday I'll tell you why I'm so smug. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. I'm just going to drive it off a cliff, honey. A guy named Associate Producer was the Dante Cuccinello? Mike. What, he was he? Stop it. A woman and her guitar were found dead in a shallow grave in the desert today. Vacation in the Forbidden Zone. Johnny, look at this. It's a free range orange. What do you got? I don't know. Oh, it's the onion of knowledge. It's a cactus cord. Oh! Huh. Mary Tyler Less. Man, she's got a lot of fingers, didn't she? What is it? Don't you hear that? What? I think I heard you too. Johnny? Uh, well, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I hear something, but... I'm too dumb to interpret it. That's true. Lost my crutches. Oh. 
Come on, bring your thinness. Come on with me, we'll surprise him. <laughs> Mutual of Omaha's Mild Kingdom. I can't even do one push up. Johnny, come on, let's get out of here. Don't you dare eat my potato salad. Johnny. Johnny. I'm sorry, kids. I keep forgetting they turn everybody else off. They turn me up. It's ugly. I get rid of it. We can get going. I'll get it. Johnny, can we skip the caves for today and go right onto the slopes? Well, I'd kind of like to make the last tour cat of the canine. But I've got a lot of not eating to do. Is it so important? Well, of course not. It's just my word. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the weekend's all about, remember? I remember something else. This weekend is also supposed to be an overdue honeymoon. We were supposed to do the Humpty Hump. You're right. I can do it later. Come on. No, I want to do it now. Oh, Johnny. You're right. Sex is silly. Your work is important. We'll catch the last tour. You sure now? Yep. Absolutely. I'll hit the snooze button on my biological clock. We we're going caving. Hey, honey, there's the millennial death cult. Spelunking away to the music of Herbie Mann. Oh, I hope there's a buffet in the cave. While we are in the cave, please stay together. No straggling. No wandering off. No fun. Remember, there are hundreds of unexplored passageways in the cavern. This cave is popular for those avoiding sex. <laughs> water drips from the ceiling for a long period of time. If you spell the water falls from the ceiling, a little tiny bit of mineral. Please don't come to the urge to eat each other. Oh, this is the best not sex we've ever had. So a scientist gets his information from a minimum wage park service guy. Wow, this is really boring. You okay? What? Second stair landing, wife okay. Yeah, they're going up those stairs now, man. Come on. Huh? Why? Nobody can see us. We're too thin. Doing what? Something down here makes me feel primitive. Is it my raw manhood, honey? You haven't got the nerve. Try me. As an entree or side dish. You're on, lady. Oh, dose. Hey, guys, eventual food. Kathy. <laughs> Kathy! Kathy! I'm losing the mood. Johnny, please, hurry! Kathy! <laughs> Are you all right? Yes. They're crawling all over me. At least something is. <laughs> They're mites, honey. Just keep on the skin. Oh. Mites? How do we get out of here? Kathy, I don't know. Maybe by not being idiots. Finally, an excuse to drink my urine. The best thing we can do is wait. You know, taking action is for effective people. Now, sooner or later, they'll figure we're missing. Grab, 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 no grab, 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 grab. Tony, Tony, please let's get out of here. Jeffy, let's try that. Jeffy, <sighs> no. The best thing we can do is stay put. Trying to save yourself is undignified. Our honeymoon was getting a little dull anyway. Yeah, a little soft. I, I mean flaccid. So, sorry, I mean dull. What is it? I heard a woman say, what is it? Same thing I heard before. <laughs> the bats. The bats? Good beer. I don't hear anything. Quiet. One of them is getting closer. Hey, get out of our bedroom. He has his own pulley system, Doug! 
I can detach myself. I'm not stuck. Everybody calm down. Hey, kick me off your little blanket, huh? Huh? Now kick the guano out of you, you son of a... Just get away from me, you wife. It's not Nah, he sucker punched me, that's all. Are you sure? Are you sure? Hmm? Listen. Hey! God, no! She ramps right up to ordeal mode. Oh. Hey! Hey, down here! Oh, help! Please! Down here! Yes! Well, just go on, then. Relax. Okay, line up, you oh, maggots. Yes, don't do... Why? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Tell me. No, the bat and I were lovers in another life. That, that's fine. You wanted to examine it for rabies. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh. Don't worry about it. Stupid. <laughs> Why did I kick it away? Yep, we could have had some good stew, you know. Yuck. <laughs> It tastes just like white meat of tuna. That's what they tell me. Oh, you're disgusting. Have you ever thought about what we look like to a bat? I don't care about bats. I care about you. I care about me, too. And I care about you. And bats. And maggots. And, and rats, too. Rats are cool. <laughs> oh, great wife. Bread and butter. Yes. Oh, what a run that's going to be. Magnificent. That's what the ADR lady says. I'm so glad. I'm really happy. Oh, too much vapor action. <laughs> You'll get the money. Let me go. <laughs> God, I hate festival seating. Jogging. The horrible truth. Running forward instead of in place. Rosie Ruiz in hell. <laughs> You're thrusting your hair at me again. I suppose Mary Slaney will blame a bat this time. <laughs> Cry. Be right there. She's in my six. I can't see her. Just like my Aunt Rita. Oh, come on. It doesn't hurt that long. I have an actually occurring analgesic in my teeth. Johnny, please. We took a vote. We're pushing you out, John. Are you all right? We're very concerned. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Isn't everybody here a bat? <laughs> I don't know. You, you were acting so funny. Kind of crazy. Honey, what are you talking about? Well, you flapped your arms and formed your tongue into a tube. I thought I was a bat once, too. Honey, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. You know, they save money by hooking the gondola to the power lines. While we're up here, we might as well confound the Germans by triggering our timing bombs. That was an awesome two-foot run. <laughs> what was that? Are you ready for this? Let's go! Yeah, Russell Means! Hey, do Agony of Defeat again. It's the Like Father, Like Son suite. Susie Chapstick and her husband Ron Chapstick. Hey, they flocked all the trees. I have a brioche in my hat. Uh, <laughs> eat my dust, honey. <laughs> Look, honey, I'm doing daffies. Let's tap those. Yeah. 
The brakes aren't working. Hey, this is an expensive camera. Hey, hey! hey. Oh, <laughs> my femur's sticking out of my ski pants. <laughs> the precise moment they realized their marriage was over. Hey, where'd my chair go? It's really red. Oh, God. Shrinkage. <laughs> Wow, imagine having fun together. <laughs> Brace yourself. We're next. Oh, no. I'm barely thought out from the slopes. Oh, Professor Firefly. Ooh. $23 a day. It's almost worth it. You ready for a drink? Oh, am I? Here's a glass of snow. Uh, well, that's to you. I love you. To us, Johnny. Oh, Bailey's and pickle juice. Johnny. How's our marriage going? Yeah, I'm having sex. Your hand. Johnny. Johnny, what's the matter with you? Oh, hi. You got to be a doctor. Oh, your hand. So young looking. It was an accident. I don't care what it was, please. Please. No, it's not serious. It's not serious. Well, it's meant to be funny. All right. I'll stop in the first aid station first thing in the morning. For now, I'll bleed in the water. Switzerland, world headquarters. Hey, he's a love American style doctor. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> I heal you in the name of skiing. What are we going to do about that? That can wait. You're the doctor. You have promise me something. You start treatment just as soon as you get back, huh? You mean the Pasteur treatment? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so otherwise he could go sour. Look, you two, there's a minimum 30-day incubation period, so there's no reason to spoil the weekend. Is it true that the cure is sometimes worse than the disease? Is that a hang-up I hear? Nothing is worse than rabies. Thanks a lot, doctor. Johnny, I think... Yeah. Honey, it's not that big a deal. Would you stop with the damn compassion? Wait till next week. I don't think a week will make any difference. I am going skiing. Oh, don't let anything stop you, doctor. He's only a patient. Take it easy, Cam. And you're being as irresponsible as he is. You're working on a grant in preventive medicine and you won't take it yourself. You're not doctors, you're children. But Dr. Mellow Ski Bum said it would be fine. <laughs> You ready to go, doctor? I'm ready, doc. Where are we going? Hospital. Bring your bitter wife. About five miles down the hill in town. Come on. You happy to? So. You guys think that the wife in the movie looks more like Mary Tyler Moore than me. Even though I have the same skinny body, the same pointy hip bones, and the exact same hair. If you ignore the fact that it's a wig. Well, I'm very insulted and deeply, deeply disappointed in both of you. you really, Crow? You look plenty like Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, more than the woman in the movie, really. Well, that's not what you said before, you jellyfish. Now, we're going to do this right so there's no backpedaling from you two clowns later on. <laughs> You start the scene, and then try to deny that you don't forget that I'm not Mary Tyler Moore. No. Huh? Just go. Okay. <clears throat> Ted, you can't have a lava lamp in your dressing room. Oh, come on, Lou. It's what all the groovy Hepcats are doing. I said no, Ted. Oh, come on, Lou, please. Oh, Mr. Grant. Ted was only trying to You be... stay out of this, Crow. Oh, come on, Lou. I mean, Crow agrees with me, Lou. Hey, it's Mary, you guys. Mary. Yes, Mr. Grant, I Shut think Shut up, that... Crow, or I'll transfer you to Chuckles the Clown, okay, Crow? All right, it's Mary, you spiteful bastards. <laughs> How dare you be Lou, and you be Ted, and not let me be Mayor? <laughs> I can turn the world on with my stinking smile. Ooh, we got him. <laughs> it's me, girl, and I should know it. We'll be right back, With Lou. each glance and every lousy movement, I show it. <laughs> Come on. this to another day in the slopes, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's strictly routine procedure. 
Maybe. You're strictly special. And I don't want anything Maybe. to happen to you. Care, nothing's happening. Everything copacetic in here? I'm worried. Oh, this one's gonna hurt like hell. Oh. Pose like this in Playgirl, only without my pants. Hey, Mrs. Beck, um, I can only handle one emergency a day. Would you mind waiting in the solarium? Go ahead, Kathy. It'll only take a minute. Be groovy, okay? Okay. Hey, she's wearing a Charlie Brown sweater. <laughs> you ready? Coochie, coochie, coo. We could also spackle your nose holes if you want. Hey, should I pick out your belly button lint while I'm down here? Oh, there's a heavenly light on his groin. Huh. Yeah, dump that in the ocean. Numero uno. 19 to go. <laughs> 119. What would you say if I sang how to do it? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're having an allergic reaction. Try to breathe slowly. We have to mellow him out. Sodium phenobar. 20 cc's of the dry look and get me some space food sticks. These nurses are on the website, pink, lukewarm nurses. Oh, man, I've really got to quit killing guys. Licorice condom, what the hell is that doing in there? Um, this didn't happen. I think it's all right. Prepare a room for Dr. Beck. He'll be staying here, nurse. Yes, doctor. Um, do you have any drug allergies? It's a hell of a ride. More reaction. Never seen anything like that before. Is that rabies itself? Well, from what I understand, allergic reaction can produce identical symptoms. It wasn't my shot. It was your stupid reaction. It's ironic, isn't it? The answer probably one in a million. And where is it hit? I research him, you know, it's just terrific. <laughs> it's like this chick I was making it with. <laughs> I guess the bats are getting even. Yeah. I could use a hug. What's your opinion about the rest of the shots? You mean, do I think you're gonna have another reaction like this? I doubt it. I think that was just the initial jolt. The rest of the shot should have minimal effect. Good. Not as good as fondue. Dr. Kipling? Ricky Ticky Tabby's waiting for you. Dr. Kipling? Dr. Kipling, um, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, can I just poke you in the ribs a few times? You promise not to ball me out anymore? Okay. You know, you were right. I am hot. I am kind of a ski bum. Doctor. One of the nurses told me what happened. You pinched her bippy. She shouldn't have done that. How serious is it? You mean his reaction to the serum? Yes. I wouldn't call it serious at all. But is that it? Huh? Is it possible there may be other side effects? Yes, there is a possibility of side effects, but I wouldn't worry about it. But it was a violent reaction, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The reaction pistol with your husband. Obviously, he is allergic to the serum, but that's not unusual in itself. The past your treatment can produce reactions very, very similar to rabies, like uh, sudden shifts in mood, manic depression, paranoia, inability to swallow. But that's what I don't understand, Doctor. He had those reactions, everything you're describing, before he took the serum. Hey, that hits my erroneous zone. I don't know what you mean. It was really strange. On the gondola, and in the jacuzzi, he had these sudden fits of anger. Has he never been mellow? He was completely without any problems one minute, and then in the next he was like a madman, completely out of control. And he wasn't even aware of it. Mrs. Beck. You're a loser, baby. I want to assure you of one thing. Whatever you saw in him, 
Believe me, it wasn't rabies. The incubation period is one to five months. Doctor, what if he does have rabies? I wouldn't worry about it. We got an early start on the treatment. Even if it's not fatal, there's a good chance of brain damage, isn't there? This is all about me shaving my mustache, isn't it? Come on, let's go. You haven't commented on my Aspeny good looks. All right, hold him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Please, we can't all eat the same mosquito. I tell you, I don't know anything. <laughs> Please, just hide me from Ozzy Osbourne. Mm. 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 This is really good, ma'am. Excellent blood. Mm. Mm. Me negative, yum. Thank you very much. Slightly redolent of cilantro. Mm -hmm. Fenugreek? Mm. Mm. That'd be a better movie if he had gotten bit by a cow. His hands are small, I know, but they are his. They are not our own. Well. He's turning into a damn werewolf. Vile. Chin buffed and waxed. Why? Why? Hey, he's becoming honey baked. Mm. It's Yugi Blake's hand. Mm. Oh. Where's the nurse? I'm dilated to eight. Jump. Left my hand in the fry, Daddy. Uh. Oh. Hey, honey, come look at this. Is this weird? Ow, my studded contacts. Listen, the Planet of the Apes apes are coming. <laughs> Listen, you hypochondriac, I know what you're doing. Uh, Bring medical up, up, sample. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean, nurse soon to be killed by a bat? finger came off again. How did you ever get that off? It took two strong men and a boy to get it on. Kathy, I want you to find the psychiatrist. What? I'm mistaking you for a hat. But once in your life, just do what the hell I ask. Can't you see I'm in trouble? But the doctor says you're doing fine. Find somebody, Kathy, now. Maybe you got bit by a jerk bat. Well, of course, yeah. I will. Just as soon as I get you settled. Sometimes you make me so thin. What are you talking about? In the motel. They won't let me leave, Kathy. Didn't you talk to the doctor? He says you don't have to stay here. I've already signed you out. But I like it here. I love the pudding. I think I should stay close to the hospital for a while anyway. But there's no reason. I want to. Isn't that reason enough? Yeah, back in the days when you could check yourself in and out of the hospital willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. So I'm lifted and separated for no reason. No. I need seven dollars for the copay. It's not okay. You're just a bad wife. I'm coming home with you. You don't have to. I've remarried. Here, have a mosquito on me. Yes. Did she marry Kevin McDonald? Why don't you go on ahead and find us some things for a nice quiet dinner? You do feel well enough? Yeah. My weak chin will get us through this. Get the psychiatrist. Now, into the closet with you. There you go. Oh, I thought I bought a half slip. That's fine. How much is that? Twenty dollars. Well, throw in a bag of bat chow. Thank you. Give trap. Now I steal some legs. Oh, nice.
face patties. What? Hey! Uh, sir, this is a non-convulsing zone. Gonna have to ask you to take that elsewhere. I'm Sheriff Character Actor. You all right, Doctor? I am now. Mm. Sergeant Ward, Sheriff's Department. I'm not a bat. I mean, uh... How you I... feeling, Dr. Beck? I'm fine. How did you know my name? I've been following you, Doc. Just missed you at the hospital. You sure you're all right now? Look, Sergeant, I'm taking a series of preventive shots. I don't need to stay at the hospital. And you are not a doctor. So just what can I do for you? Take it easy, Doc. All I want to do is talk a little. Chew some gum at you. Now, if I had a pretty young wife like yours, and I brought something home like this, <laughs> there's no telling what you might think. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being weird again, huh? You uh, got something sheer from a deputy? You got a beating area, man? Is this your hand? <laughs> Well, when I guess you get around to it, Sergeant, you'll know where to find me. In the Dweeb Department at Sears. Oh, Doc. I'm having a lingerie party. What I wanted to mention is I'm checking out the accident at the hospital. Last night? I don't know how I can help you. Well, you see, your room's pretty close to where it happened. Thought you might have heard something. You know what I mean? Not a thing. I was asleep. Yeah, I figure what with all you've been through. The reason I ask you is, I found this near the body. A signed confession from you. It's yours. Yes, let's see. Bat, W. Batman. Yes, it's mine. I don't understand how it got there. Yeah, that's what I keep wondering, too. <laughs> Same way I keep wondering how it got off. You know what I mean? I don't know. Try it. Oh, okay, let me turn into a murdering bat first. <laughs> Real puzzler, ain't it? Later. Over a romantic dinner, they discuss the details of the case. Yes, tonight we're having lightly dilled field mouse and a mosquito demi glass. Oh, honey, yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh wait, that's me. Mm, worry, mm, frets. Mm. Ew, human lady. Her skin is hairless and she really has small ears. Okay, it's the Bats Motel. Don't. <laughs> Frets, do worry. I'm just gonna fly once around the parking lot. Just a mannequin. Pose it me in your eyes odd shirt, will you? You tell Charlie McCarthy I want my money. <laughs> there, now I'll fit in. Hey, that's a crazed sweaty guy wearing pajamas and... Oh, oh, wait, he's got a blazer on. It's all right. A mannequin was brutally beaten and murdered last night. And married with children blaring out of each and every trailer. I cry Tabasco tears for you. Do the bat. Oh man, yeah, suck your blood, do the bat. Batty, 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 knock down groovy bat, oh yeah. Wanna suck your cuckoo vein, baby, yeah. Now I know why they call it scatting. Yeah, you ought to. <laughs> Hosanna, superstar, Hosanna, superstar. Actual trailer trash. Well, she got away from the bat, but ironically, a tornado tore through her trailer park moments later. Hey, hey, take it easy. You got a mosquito in your neck. I just want to grab it. Oof. My turtleneck doesn't match our sheets. 
It's all right. It's all right. It was just a nightmare. You're all right. All right, darling. You're all right. It was only a bad dream. I'm sorry, honey. We got to wash the sheets again. <clears throat> just remember the first 30 years of the hardest. It's like the others. Just a dream. That's all. A dream. Big boys don't cry. Big boys don't cry. I can't take any more of her shrieking her empathy at me. Attention, bedwetters. Get up and go now. I'm not as popular as Enos, and that troubles me. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. Sheriff, I'm lonely. Who is it? Sergeant Ward. I'm not sleepy. Can I have a glass of water? McLeod. What do you want, Sergeant? I'd like to talk to your husband. Um, he's really kind of a bat right now. Oh, I have breasts and so great. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Can it wait till morning, Sergeant? It's 3 a.m. Uh, no. Get back to bed, Cappy. Sorry, Johnny. I told the sheriff he could sleep with us. I'll handle this. Hey, you got a good rack there, too, fella. God. <laughs> Mike! Oh my god, what happened, Mike? Mike, Servo, get the rabies kit, stat! I'm on it! Hang on, buddy, hang on! Rabies okay. kit! Great, let's get to work. Okay. We haven't a moment to lose. Okay, okay. Hang okay on, honey. buddy, everything's gonna Good. be fine. Good. Here you go. This might hurt a little there. Good. Good. Okay, another okay, one. Here you go. There. Okay, okay. Here another you one. Go. Good. Another Good. one, and another. one more. Here you go. Okay. Good. Oh. Good. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, man, don't know what happened. I <laughs> guess I fell asleep eating my pastry. Huh. Well, now, I'm, I'm sure I wouldn't have a bunch of giant hypodermic needles sticking out of my stomach unless it was absolutely necessary. Well, Mike, you led us to believe you were rabid and seconds from becoming a horrible man-bat. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, no. I'm not. Well, we know what, that. What, so, so what, are you saying we can't finish your series of painful but necessary injections because you fell asleep eating a cream puff? Yeah, thanks, Mike. <sighs> so so we're just supposed to live with no sense of closure just because you don't have rabies? Gee. Great, <sighs> great, thanks. You guys, look, I'm sorry, you're right. I, I, uh, I really was selfish to I'll not have rabies. I'll yeah, tell you what, man. go ahead and finish the series of painful injections. Really? Well, thanks, Mike. But, but really, it is the least you can do. <laughs> hey, 37 more injections to go. Let's yeah. rock. Just kidding. We got movie stars. Let's go. Ah, 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 and I thought I'd better talk to you. How about what? Murder. <gasps> murder? Yes, I want to murder you. This little girl had her throat ripped out a couple hours ago. Okay, I admit it. It was Richard Jewell. What does that have to do with me? Well, nothing, Doc. I'm just talking to a lot of folks. Been in all night, have you? Yes, of course. My wife will verify that. <laughs> She don't have to do that, Doc. You're not on the stand, you know what I mean? You haven't told me what you wanted, Sergeant. He's got a Mia Farrow haircut. Oh, yeah. Well, you ever seen this before? The girl ripped it off, whoever attacked her. It was his prized used Kleenex. God. Are you implying that's why? <laughs> I guess if you've seen one bag, you just see them all. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Doc? <laughs> Yeah, well, I got a lot more people to wake up who I once saw with bandages. I ought to be able to have a reaction to that. I'm an actor. Ah, it's not worth it. Is everything all right? He 
has achieved a state of perfect blandness. Take these. Jam them right up. They'll knock out an elephant. They'll help you with the nightmares. They'll make them scarier. I'm not sure there were nightmares. Uh, between this and the oil embargo, I just... Look, uh, I'm not a psychiatrist. Far from it. But I think what happened is pretty obvious. You were running a very high fever. And you wandered out of your room. And you spotted the nurse you killed lying her. on the floor. You killed her. Dead. Because of you. You panicked. Re-killed her. You rushed back to your room. Killed now you're in a state of near coma. Then you distorted the sequence of events. In your mind, you killed the nurse. Which is what you did, so it's fine. You're a doctor. You didn't help her. Guilt. That's what you should feel. Same reason I'm here instead of up on the hill. Who wants to stay in the hospital until the treatments are over? Alone. I'd go along with him if I were you, Mrs. Beck. Get a devil's haircut. He's had a severe trauma. It was pretty rough. What can I do to help? Oh, well, land me, I suppose. Give him all the support he needs. No pressure. Expect nothing from him. I think his mind will ease up. Just as soon as these treatments are over. Good morning. A little fruit for my fruit bat. For you. Thank you, sir. Uh, you want one? No, not now. Oh, I talked to your mother. You didn't. Yeah, she said squeak. No, oh, you promised to call her, remember? Uh huh. What did you tell her? I told her you were fabulous. Uh huh. <laughs> and she didn't insist on talking to me? Oh, she did. But I said you were asleep. Said the honeymoon was too much for you. So you bragged to Mom about the frequency of our sex. Thanks. Now we're going to keep on hearing about grandchildren. You know that. Well? Well? You always do that when we talk about kids. Charlie, what's wrong? I'm tired. I better get a little rest. I'll get the doctor. No, I want a little rest. That's all. Johnny, you... Just get the hell out of here and leave me alone. Johnny! Forget it. I'm leaving you for Dr. Mustache Love. Well, then you can clean that up with your mind, young man. I can't believe it. Wow, I gotta get to church. Ah, the bats are playing the harp. Please, no. I must stay. I need help. I'm Bradford Dillman. <laughs> wow, there's a whale farting outside. Maynard Ferguson is coming. Oh, good. He left a trail of guano. Johnny? Weak. Johnny? Johnny, please open the door. I want to help you. God, they were out of toilet paper in there. Johnny? Jeez. Johnny? I don't like it when you take the Land's End catalog in there. Oh, I guess he had a garden level room. Don't huh? <laughs> oh, man, am I a doofus? Bad on the run. Bad on the run. The Fugibat. Emergency and parcel pickup. This remake of The Road is pretty bad. It's got to swing by and pick up Randolph Mantu. Out of the way and warm your hands. I guess by definition I'm in the Batmobile now. Suspect is 18 inches long with huge upturned ears, weird elongated webbed arms. Jeez, all he's missing is the feather boa. <laughs> Beating to death is okay. This is Sergeant Ward. Who is the patient who stole that ambulance? Male Caucasian. What's his name? Mr. Male Caucasian. Dr. John Beck. And the giant impala groans into action. God, I love this job. Spinning donuts, wearing shades. This is unit 
one in pursuit of stolen ambulance. Now headed south on 14th Street. All units converge. Over and phlegm. Hunter Thompson, Texas Ranger. Stay in my mouth, Jewel. The town that's all outskirts. Bob Wetface. KFC. Man, imagine those poor saps who lived before Extra Crispy. <laughs> Must have been hell. <laughs> when you want your ill delivered fresh, call us. Okay, first a little shaky's pizza, and, and then I'll get the guy to intensive care. <gasps> it's the mailbox of values! No. Don't save me large nose holes. Kind of a minimalist ambulance. Fill her up. Thank you. <laughs> he was going to hit him anyway. Yeah. Squeak, squeak. Well, the skiing looks good. He's headed to Mexico. It's illegal to prosecute Cairo Terra there. You hit a bump in that thing, 50 miles down the road, you're still recovering. Whoa, air conditioning really kicking. Oh, 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 this is rich. <laughs> <laughs> I lost him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I gotta laugh. That is. Ah, so... uh, you seen Mother or Jugs? He's got a pop o -matic on his car. Yeah, just let me escape from you first. Okay, I'll pull over first. This is what I want you to do. From the high-speed chase, you didn't even knock over a fruit stand. Calling June. All cars converge at Mill Road. Stolen ambulance westbound. Suspect homicidal. Hey, I'm heterocidal. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> With bitter irony, he realizes he now has to call an ambulance. Oh. 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 I really guanoed my pants on that one. What a complete guano head, man. Now he's picked up by the Kents. And then what? He becomes super African crested bat? Mm, no, he doesn't, Mike. It's. Da -dum, da -da 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 Gotta get my robe back to the Ritz Carlton. I think he'll be okay if he can just make it to the mountains of Bush. Oh, oh, catheter's still in. Hmm. So now we watch him recede into a tiny speck. Thank you, movie. Hmm. Put my head in a stanchion and milk myself? Now why not? Of course he was with me all night. Every minute together, I never find him. What's the point of this, Sergeant? We had a young girl killed the other night over at King's Trailer Park. She died pretty much the same way as the nurse the other night. The other other night? But that was an accident. I don't think so anymore, Mrs. Beck. You recognize this? No. Should I? Found in the trash barrel at your motel. So? Well, the man who killed that girl was wearing it. I told you, Johnny never left my side. He was hooked on, sucking blood. Well, tell me this. When Dr. Beck ran off... He didn't he run himself? off. He was hallucinating, and that was from the medication. So he ran off. Well, do you believe this medication could have made him violent? Oh, Johnny's never done a violent act in his life. Yeah. Yeah. 
probably never stole an ambulance and smashed it to bits in his life either. You know what I mean? Hey, Mike, if you want to know what love is, well, there's a poster up there that explains a pretty thorough... And it's gone. Mm -hmm. Squeak. 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 You leave the door closed? What, were you born in a house? This is good. He can fashion cow pies into a crude suit and get away unnoticed. <laughs> oh, Jack Albertson. Oh, I, I'm sorry, sorry. I thought you were somebody else. I knew. Would <laughs> this be my Yoda-like mentor? Right? No, thank you. No wonder farmers are struggling. Well, I went to the Buddy Epson hat distressing store. You don't look like the kind of fellow. Who runs around wearing only pajamas? Sounds like the Swedish chef Muppet. You roll or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're beginning to know the real me. Well, no <laughs> sense putting off the loving. <laughs> you're one of the few people who's fortunate enough to know the real me. Because I'm free, man. Free. Free as a... a guy who just messed himself. <laughs> Yeah, the real him is basically a diseased liver with legs. You know that whiskey and alcohol and all that stuff is depressing? Who do you suppose would want to take this stuff if they didn't want to be depressed? He's a naturally occurring clown. If you're so <laughs> free and happy, you don't want to be depressed. You want to stay free and happy, right? So if I'm so freaking free and happy, I would never even take a swig from this bottle, right? Hey, squeak, man. All right. So, so who's the bag hiding the booze from? Okay, now open that robe. I don't only, only take swigs, man. I drink it from the bottom of the bottle. And I get more and more depressed. I get so depressed I don't remember. I forget the name of my tapeworm. And I get by another night or day. Or maybe a couple of nights, oh <laughs> my. That's what I call real freedom, man. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm technically Ooh. dead again. Nothing wrong with you, man. I slipped and fell, I think, a couple nights ago. I don't remember. Let me see that. Why, there's a thorn in there. Bingo! You found it. Let go, for Christ's sake. Your hand is broken. I tried to reach into a Mickey's big mouth to get my tooth. You, doctor? It's admirable he's drinking through the pain. So you're a doctor and you dropped right on out. I understand that. I sure do. You know too much. Anybody who knows too much has got to drop out. You're quite a philosopher. <laughs> That's me. Jack of all thoughts, master of none. Master of my belches, though. You know, when you walk along the railroad tracks, you got lots of time to think. Just thinking, no doing. If it's the slightest chance, I might start doing, I just naturally reach for a bottle. <laughs> oh, God, this story again. I can say for sure there's only one thing I can do better than anybody else in the world. Stink. Wow. Right? Oh, good. Hey, Doc, have yourself a sweet. You're looking awful. Go on. Well, I do feel closer to you since you opened up about your stink. Oh, I'd wipe that off. Let's see. Hey, hey, you're wasting it. Catch that in a bucket or something. I know this stuff's bad, but not that bad. I'm sorry, Licker. He hurt your feelings. Oh, the aftertaste is exquisite. Come on, move over. We've got a huge cave here. And everyone stop talking at once. Order, please. Yoo-hoo, that's a good bet. Yeah, that'll happen, sir. <laughs> Attention, APB. Uh, Dr. John Shut Beck. Shut that off, please. Roll all units. Every man. Yes, sir. 
Hi, Mr. Epstein. 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 Hi, Mr. Epstein
You just have the cutest little face, don't you? Remember, I don't want to hurt you. Got it? Mm, Tahitian treat blood. Oh, yeah. Open it. It's got a bat proof lid. Oh, gotta sneeze. Oh, no. Oh, negative. Now in the new wide mouth slam cam. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the arms of Sheriff Menacing W. Pervert. Where is he? <laughs> Keep that bra strap visible till I get back. Damn, I hate it when you went to her room and there's no one to shoot. Gee, what am I going to do with all these moths in my pocket? I'm an injured mosquito. Hey, there's George Clooney. He killed a bag, the animal. I see this here. Uh, winged mammal linen supply. Hmm, there you go. Shot from inside an oven. Thanks for the lift, invisible guy. Let me guess. They'll be thinking at window company at the end of the film. Well, I got just enough time to spend the weekend at this Sedona resort. Said you might have found him. I only talk through my tape recorder. My name is John Beck. This is my last will and testimony. My final communication with the outside world. I included this video of me stealing a tape recorder. Many will deny as possible the phenomenon, the miracle, which has forever altered my being, emotionally, mentally, physically. A few, perhaps, will understand. Oh, and the kids are fine. We got a microwave for Christmas, <laughs> a gift to ourselves. I hope that you, Kathy, will be one of them. I bid you act. You are my one sorrow. The only regret that I take with me. That and investing in silver. Always remember, I loved you. The first symptoms of my metamorphosis were strange and horrible, medically indescribable. This is so sad. But now the metamorphosis is swift, quite smooth, painless, natural. I welcome it. It is only then that I am fully the other being. Gary Gaetti. The self that dominates my personality. Human form and human emotion. No, I won't listen. Don't you see? He's taking on the guilt for something he doesn't even understand. How can you believe something so irrational? <laughs> you heard the same thing we heard, Mrs. Beck. That was a confession. A confession? From someone pumped full of medicine? He doesn't know what he's saying. I think it's more complex than that, Mrs. Beck. How he got there, that's out of my bailiwick. <laughs> what? All I know is that you're listening to a voice of a killer. Geraldine's boyfriend? Something within my psyche has emerged, has helped me reach a new consciousness, a sharp awareness of truth, untouched by human greed or ambition. That's or without sin. Free from the negative, the hypocrite. Can you understand? I'm part of everything now. Hey, we didn't vote you in yet. I've journeyed to a belonging. Part of everything. Oh, God. Turn it off. Please, turn it off. Pearl. Pearl, are you there? Well, hey, Mike. What can I not do for you? <laughs> Hey, something's different. Yeah, well, I uh, decided to try a mustache again, only a slightly bushier one, like the guy in the movie today. And, you know, I, w I wanted a, a woman's opinion. Well, it 
certainly does something for you, Mike. It kind of sort of gives you kind of a Robert E. redford kind of thing, in a way. It's not bad. You think so? Because, you know, I was a little worried that it might look, I don't know, a little... Hello, Pearl. Will I see you on the slopes later? Oh, Art. My, you're looking... Oh, what a hunk of burning love. You want to come down later and maybe hot tub with me? Maybe? Art? <laughs> oh, we'll see, Pearly. The fact is, the babes are on me so thick, I gotta peel them off like pants. <laughs> oh, come on, Pearl. Look at him. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Art, what is that small mustachioed idiot next to you croaking about? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Point taken, okay? It's a nakedy lip for me. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 all right, honeys, <laughs> get ready to jump. Jump my bones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ladies, I'll be right back. <laughs> remember to put a bat door on this. Don't. Don't jump in the bed. You'll spill my nachos. Johnny. Oh, God. You did come back. Keep your hand off the light, Kathy. It's all right. No one can see us. I don't want you to see me. I have rat entrails Johnny. on my lips. Johnny, I love you. Stay back. <laughs> That's all finished, Kathy. Talking about something you could never understand. The great taste of rat. Oh, Johnny, please. Let me try. Nothing can be the same, Kathy. Can't you understand that? Nothing. Let me help you. <laughs> Go home. Empty the bug zapper and bring him here. Hello? I couldn't go without you, Johnny. Go home, Kathy. But it's your home, too. Actually, the mortgage does have a bat clause. What do you say? The caves are my home. It's a development called Caverberry Downs. Oh. It's posing for the dollar. Who is it? You haven't seen your husband, have you? No, of course not. Well, I've seen his eye and a little bit of flesh. You mind if I come in? Yes, I do, Sergeant. I'm in bed. It's very late. I had a report he was seen in the area. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Gosh, am I sleeping? Good night, Mrs. Beck. Good night. I'm definitely leaving and not hanging around to eavesdrop. So. Oh, wait, I want to buy a raffle ticket. I've got to go. No. I have a zit on the end of my nose. It's all right. You're all right. You look fine, Johnny. I mean, you're trying to be ugly, right? Stop sucking on that rat and talk to me, huh? I can't control it, Kathy. I do change. No, you don't change, Johnny. You think there's a change of some kind, but that's because of the drugs. It's in your mind. Don't you see? It's nothing more than an allergic reaction. Shellfish makes me turn into a bat. I'm leaving, Kathy. No. The police may be watching. I told them they Johnny. could. Johnny, I love you. No, Squee. <laughs> no. I do, I do. My whipper is small and furry. I hope that's okay. Well, which slutty little bat gave you this? And you love me too. I've seen you undressing me with your sonar. Mm -hmm. Oh, your tongue is long and tubular. I love that. Mm. Oh, squeak. Squeak, oh, squeak, squeak. Oh, squeak. Mm. Mm. Well, if I go into the Krispy Kreme, I'll just be advancing the stereotype.
Ah, yes, that. Well, I taped Banachek. I better head home. been using Rembrandt. I just made love to Chris Berman. Alan Seuss to the rescue. He was just adding up his magic fingers take for the day. <laughs> you need more paper toilet seat covers? This is back. This is a non-intercourse room. Mrs. Beck, are you all right? She's all right, except for the fact that she married Beck. It's Fred Garvin, male prostitute. Mrs. Beck. Mrs. Beck. Mrs. Beck, you, you must have been having a nightmare. She is now. Are you okay now? In a motor lodgy kind of uh, way, yeah. Yes, of course, I, I'm sorry. Ooh, a lot of rat carcasses. Oh, yeah. Must have really been a bad one. I've had better. <laughs> well, listen, I, I'm heading back to the office now, but if you, uh, if you need me or if you have another one of those nightmares, you, <laughs> you just give me a yell, okay? And I'll be over there all night. Uh, don't you worry. You take it easy. I, I got no other place to go, believe it's me. Graham. Okay? He's back. Good night, Mr. Beck. Say, could you get the light? Oh, never mind. You know, if I'm ever asked to do a love scene with someone turning into a bat, I'll do it, but only if it's tastefully done. Part of the story. Yeah. Yeah. That too. He left me guano. Oh, there's more coming, honey. Watch out. <laughs> it's so solid and well-shaped. He's obviously very healthy. So nitrogen rich, he knew it would be perfect for the tomatoes. <laughs> Sergeant Ward, headquarters, do you read me? Sergeant Ward, headquarters. Yeah, I read you. Wow. Mrs. Beck was Man, here looking for you. She was hysterical. She kept babbling you killed her husband. She got a ranger to drive her to the cave. When? A few minutes ago. Ah, and when was that? And I'll take care of it. 10 4. Or 7 11, or whatever. Whoa, nobody set the brakes on the camera. Uh oh. It's going downhill. Grip, grip. Hey, Marge Simpson behind that wall. Uh oh. Well, sooner or later, I'll have to do the bat to see, I suppose. He's checking with his bat sources on the street. Wasn't he looking for shoe prints on the ceiling? Man, I gotta take more naps if I'm gonna be nocturnal. Hey, there he goes. Oh, it's just a crummy Balrog. Aha! Swoop down on him using my perfectly human arms and then bite him with my human teeth. <laughs> if only I had a huge ambulance. Usually just hit people with this thing. Never used it for a light before. Holy squeak. That like stealth will out, out, out. No, he's got a tennis racket. You're gonna come along with me peacefully. Please, I'm a protected species. You know what I mean? Ooh, right in the sonar. Wow. Giving you your Miranda beating. I made a ton of you in my attic last summer, you bastard. 
You have the right to remain ultrasonic. Anything you squeak, cannon will be used against you. Oh, yeah, and he was also bitten by an Ecuadorian bald-faced monkey. So, so what, bats kneel on moths and pummel their faces? Attracted to the light now, huh? You're gonna fly into my grill, huh? With your stupid powdery wings. I'm flying away. Flap, 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 flap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, squeak, 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 squeak. Man, I gotta get in touch with some bat sympathizers. I was just pimp slapped by a bat. How the hell do I put that in a report? This is worse than when I got jumped by those field mice. Well, I shouldn't have laughed my way through small mammal wrestling back at the academy. Hey, he's not wearing underwear. That would be cool if I had any ammo. You know, my father was a master bat hunter. Guess that makes me bat master son. <laughs> Just enjoy that one, fellas. Thank you. Give me five good men and a wig, I'll get him. Dick Dale's lightly noodling somewhere. I took a nap in the blast furnace. Now, let's be honest, the other bats haven't really welcomed him with open arms, have they? What the squeak? What? So he's just gonna, what the, let's well, squeak him, man. Sergeant, is my husband all right? Ooh, he really banged you up, honey. I don't know what he is. Well, what happened? I don't know what happened. But bats weigh less than a pound and he beat you up? <laughs> all right, that's enough. Well, there he is, he's in the corner. Let's go. No. Well, wait, my hearing aid's off. I don't hear anything. Strange. I hear something, but I don't know. Uh, uh, Ma'am, do you need me to ram anyone? <gasps> hey, give me a minute. I have a fear of paneling. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I just thought of Jack Carter. I think you would understand. Duh. What? Sergeant. Why has he got a picture of Slash from Guns N' Roses? Yeah. So who is this movie's target audience? Well, I don't know. A bat fetishist named Stan. And even he missed it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is this part of the movie? We're I watching? guess. There's a bush baby hiding in the back seat, waiting to pound him. Hmm. Do I have time to plant evidence somewhere? <laughs> Tell me that one again, Jimmy. I have pyorrhea. <laughs> Boy, the mosh pit is crowded tonight. Come on, you're pinching my wing. Someone threw toilet paper into a fan. I, back off, I saw the mosquito first. Guys, we're very vulnerable packed together like this. One owl could take us all. Spread out. Hey, here comes our mouse supplier. <laughs> Mice. <laughs> Are you wearing Jean too? It's comfortable with you. We don't have to talk. <laughs> Could I just go to the bathroom alone for once? Oh, we gotta get to the cave. Company's coming. Ah, 
Ah, Banzai! Banzai! Oops, sorry, sonar's jammed. Somebody's operating a TV in the area. It's screwing us all up. Oh my god. I'm out of wiper fluid. They're attacking us. What the hell's wrong with you? Can't you see what's happening? Yes, I see. Bats are throwing rotten tomatoes at him. Wipers are rated for intestines and gall. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> the bats are causing me to not know how to stop a car. I'm concerned for the hostile, creepy, ineffective, panicky sheriff. He's okay. Emergency! Emergency! This is Ward. Emergency! Emergency! Hey, what are you doing? Goodbye, Sergeant. Hi, I need a ride. Yeah, yeah, me too. Wait, wait, I'm gonna get my suitcase. Uh, can my cousin and my mom and my brother come too? How about me? Can I come along? Really, thanks a lot for the ride. Thanks, man. Island guys. Well, the realtor's showing us a couple of caves. Guess I better get going. Hmm. It's hard to fly when you've got a coach purse over your arm. So the message is, ladies, if your husband becomes a bat, abandon your career and become one too. Yeah, the final part of her walking away was just too graphic to show. We never go anywhere anymore. Sounds like Sam Harris is singing this. Well, I've changed my mind. I'm back. Yeah, by this time he's found himself a 22-year-old trophy bat. And now, wait a minute. How did she turn into a bat? And the only contact she had with him was in the hotel. And the oh, my God. Ah, God. Oh, my God. I get the shower first. Throw me yeah. first. Yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> So you're a brand new franchisee with the Buddy Epson Hat Distressing Corporation, huh? Ooh, doggies, Mike. Distress and hats for bums since 1967. Yep. And there's enough bums willing to pay for what? Well, you see, hats are blocked, then folded, stepped on, crushed, and rolled in dirt, all for a very low price. Well, there's plenty of bums, Mike, and they don't want to be seen eating cold beans out of a can wearing a brand new Dobbs New York. No, no. Well, let's take a look at the kit. Looks like you get a list of employee greetings. Oh, yes, they're very strict about that. Who doggies? Uh huh, of course. Mess of Vittles. Mm hmm. Wonder what Granny's up to. Mm, naturally. Okay. Yep. And you get a uh, bag of dirt. Yep, yep. Good. And reorder forms for the dirt. 75 bucks a bag. Huh. And that's it. What? Wait a minute. Wait, no business plan? No promotional materials? Leads? I paid 20 grand for that? Well, of all the stupid hey, dead hey, blasted. Could you give me a hand out at the loading dock? My franchisee kit from the Red Skeleton Technologies Hat Distressing Company is here. It looks unbelievably complete. Wow. Come on. All right, let's go. Uh, the castle's calling. Stupid buddy Epson, good if he's a good if he's got a cat sign of his stupid throat in a cement pond. It's a piece of... Oh, hi, fellas. Much as I'd love to empathize about the whole buddy Epson thing, Pearl has trapped us here in the wake of the movie, and we're watching slides of her various honeymoons. So, uh, did uh, you ever marry a guy and uh, go to a cave for the honeymoon and have him turn into a bat lawgiver? Oh, no, nothing like that, Bobo. Oh. Although, here's Chuck and me at the Prairie Dog Colony in South Dakota. Oh. Oh, he became a prairie dog. But usually when my husband's died on the honeymoon, it was more mundane. Oh. Like Wendell here. Somebody shot him. Oh. Mm. Same thing with Philippe. Oh. And Maury. Oh. Somebody shoved hat pins through his eyes right before the ceremony. Oh. We still don't know who. Hey, sit down. You want me to marry you? Oh, no. <laughs> and Jerome. You want to know how Jerome died? 